Hello everyone and welcome, and today we're going to talk about how to wash your fossil. So there are a variety of different ways on how to wash your fossil. Um, I, like to, I like to use the soaking and treating method. For this method, you're going to use three containers. One, uh, I like to call a wash. It's going to be 100% water. Then you're going to have one right here, which I like to call a preparation station, which is two parts water, one part vinegar, and then you're gonna have another one that's 100% water, which I like to call the soak station. So, to start, you grab your fossil, this guy right here, and what I want you to do is you put it inside the, inside the first bath, right here, and what you wanna do is you essentially want to soak it, get rid of any of the excess stuff that's on it, like all the dirt, all the grime, you want to get it off, so you just want to let it sit. You can let it sit there for as long as you want. It doesn't harm the fossil in any way. And then once you see fit and you think everything's exposed, you want to take this and you want to put it inside, inside of the solution of one part vinegar, two parts water. Put it in there and let it sit for two minutes. And this I like to call a test. So what you do, you let it sit there for two minutes um, and you monitor it. So you make sure that there isn't any discoloration, any deterioration of the actual fossil. So after two minutes, I want you to grab the fossil. I'm going to use this guy because he has been sitting there for two minutes. Grab the fossil. I want then to find a toothbrush, any toothbrush. I recommend a toothbrush without any oil on it, oil or gasoline on it, because that will that'll destroy the fossil. So you, you take it, one second, there we go. So you take the fossil right here, and you take the toothbrush, you carefully rub along the fossil, along the matrix, and what this does is this kicks up any excess O2 and carbon that's on top of the fossil. As you can see, Barely, there is some pooling of the stone that's on top of the fossil. Then I want you to take it, bring it to the first bath of water, and you want to wash it off again, just to wash off any of the excess that's on it. Same as before. Take it, then you want, I want you to pat it down. And this is the same thing. This helps take off any of the excess. Pat it down, bring it to the other tub of 100% water, and just let it soak there. So I want you to let it soak there for double the amount of time you had it in the vinegar solution. So if it was in the vinegar solution for about, let's say two minutes, keep it in the water for eight minutes. Um, and if the test works and the fossil doesn't deteriorate or fade, then you can put it back in the vinegar solution until until you see fit, until it's as exposed as you want. But if you start to see a little bit of deterioration, a little bit of fading, don't put it back in vinegar solution. Because th that means that you've already exposed uh, more than the fossil can handle. Okay, so let's go to another one. Should show you how a bigger one like this. So here's a big boy. As you can see, there's some uh, fry zones in there. Maybe some brachiopods. It's hard to tell. So, let's bring it right here, put it right up here. Here we go. Switch hands. I casually do this. As you can see, see how it's pulling up like that? It's coming all muddy like that? That's, that's the excess stone on top. That's the chemical reaction happening. And by doing this, you're helping expose that. Takes a little bit. The bigger one, it takes a little while. When you're doing this, you want to go as carefully as possible because you could actually scratch and ruin the fossil if you go too hard. There we go. Now, take it to the water bath. You want to. As you can see, you can see some of it coming off. Take it back, to the, take it back here. You want to pat it down. 
as you can see, we see a fire zone right there peeking out after that treatment. There hasn't been any deterioration at all, so I can put it back in if I want to. But I don't want to because I like I like my fossil a little bit a little bit um dirty. I like I like the look of it. So I'm gonna put them back in here. So so the the purpose of soaking it after you're done is it the water reacts with the vinegar and the and it takes the vinegar and the acidic acid off of the rock and it and essentially it stops it from reacting because what's happening is the vinegar is reacting with the stone on top with the cal with the carbon on top not calcium I'm sorry and it creates CO2 and that CO2 bubbles to the top which is why you see bubbles it creates CO2 and it reacts that way which is why some carbon based um, some carbon based fossils get destroyed when doing this that's why you have to do a test for two minutes. So I'm just gonna. You can also do it inside the the wash station. This one I'm gonna do it because you can see the walls getting dirty because that's all the uh, that's all the excess coming off. I'm not doing that carefully because I'm holding it with that camera with one hand. I'm sorry. There you go. Take it. Look how beautiful that looks. All coronoids. Take it off. It's in the water. You let it sit. That's it. Anyways, so that's how you wash your fossil, um, or fossils. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Bye.